Hello, hello, Just Gem here and welcome, or indeed welcome back to my channel. I apologise, obviously I currently look nothing like my thumbnail. Um, I'm sorry to scare you with my morning face, paired with my lovely morning voice, it's very, very early. Um, but I hadn't planned on filming this, I filmed an intro last night, but the intro, for reasons unknown to me, is not playing ball, so I'm refilming it. I'm going to keep it short because um, I'm aware that this video could potentially be very long unless I work some editing magic and perform some voodoo. I also want to apologise for the lighting in the beginning part when I'm actually applying these shades to my face because I decided to film when it was much like this during lunchtime yesterday and um, it was overcast which means consistent lighting so I could have got a, a nice balanced lighting throughout but then the sun was like, I've not been out for a while, let's say hello. So then the sun kept peeking out and messing with the lighting situation. It's the story of my life at the moment, um, but this is why going forward I'm hoping to film of an evening. Um, but enough jabbering on, I've just said this is going to be a long video and I haven't even told you what I'm talking about, but you should know by now, it's this. It's the Divination palette, which I think is quite divisive. I kind of want to address the controversy, well controversy is a strong word, but I want to address the fact that it is quite similar to previous Blend Bunny releases and kind of dip into my thoughts on that. But before doing that I'm going to show you how I did the two looks, one on each eye and the lip. Once again I apologise for the fluctuating light settings, please be patient with me when it gets to the end, it's all gravy and the footage is decent, but it, I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit wonky before then. So yeah, that's enough um, early morning gem for for anyone. Um, I hope you enjoy the video, let's get into it. So you can see that I've, so that's the top two rows. Then you've got the middle two rows and the bottom two rows. And now that I've swatched out that brown row that I'm drawn to, I think I like it so much because it's got like a, I think I spotted this originally, but it's got like a purpley hue to it. And I think you can see it especially in this brown here. And then the brown that's further up, that's like a too true, too true brown, this shade here. It's a very true brown. I will say, these were not the most satisfying swatches to do. You know sometimes when you do a swatch and you they make you ooh and ah, if you get this palette and you swatch it and you're disappointed, keep going because that's not reflective of how the shades go on your eye. I think I was expecting the shimmers to make me go ooh and gasp in delight, especially these two, Oracle there and Psychic at the bottom, I was expecting to go ooh when I swatched them. Um, when you swatch them on your finger, they definitely have the ooh factor, and when you put them on your eye, they definitely have the ooh factor, but not so much swatching. I think the most satisfying swatches to do actually were the black, which is called Meg, after Mystic Meg, and the shimmer next to it, which is called Hermit. But remember, swatching only tells part of the story. But there it is. Okay, so here is divination. Um, and it's looking a little washed out. See, one of the things with this palette is it's got these tones that appear to be super washed out in a lot of the pictures I've seen, which I'm wondering is what, if that's why a lot of people have thought, oh no, it's not for me. So I've turned down my lighting in an attempt to show you the colours as they actually appear. Because I know that part of the problem sometimes with a lot of palettes is it can be really hard to tell in videos and in pictures what the colours actually look like. 
So let's get up close just to give you an idea of what the colours truly look like. I mean, I'm still not sure if that's capturing it, but when I edit the footage, I'll let you know if this concentration or saturation is too high, too low, or whatever it might be. But that is the Divination palette. It's muted, but... So while muted and ever so slightly understated, it simultaneously has range and depth. I'm going to do as I usually do. Um, so despite the fact that I do actually have to leave the house later, I am going to do one look on each eye. That brown row, uh, which has got Rune, Fortune, Cookie, Ouija, Zolta and Paul, has caught my eye ever since I saw the palette reveal. I don't know why, because it's browns. I wouldn't have thought that the brown row of all the rows would be the row that would stand out to me. So we're gonna do a brown concentrated look. I might even dip into Skeptic and Superstitious as they are the other brown tones on the top row. I'll see how I go. And then um, Oracle, that blue, is definitely getting put on the other eye, but I don't know in what combinations yet with other shades. Refer number one, Ouija. I haven't swatched these yet. Um, for the time being, all I've done is taken pictures and some footage. I haven't swatched because sometimes I like to swatch before I dip into a palette, other times... Okay, that's got some depth to it. Other times I like to just go for it. Perhaps even deeper than I thought it was going to be. So what I might do is use my refer 13 and I'm going in with fortune cookie which is the shade that's a scotch lighter than Ouija so Ouija's got a bit of a pinkish tone to it actually not Ouija fortune cookie even so I'm just sort of curious the gradient you can get when you do go across a row. To be fair, I probably could have started with a fortune cookie and then built on top, but I wasn't sure how it would appear on my skin tone. Somewhat frustratingly, on the Friday night when I placed my order, it's one of those, I suspected that this would be a popular collection, don't get me wrong, it's Blend Bunny in collaboration with Robert Welsh and Robert is hugely popular across I think most if not all platforms and I know he's got his big following on YouTube, he's on TikTok, he's on Insta and he's, he's well respected so I suspected that this would be popular and on the other hand I was thinking hmm maybe it won't actually because a lot of people have said it's too repetitive and they're a bit disappointed um, so you may have seen I did do a shop or drop and I ended in saying clearly I'm going to shop but I'm not gonna lie I went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth many many times about whether or not I would indeed pick up this palette I'm just going back in with Ouija here on a 14 just to define this creasy bit here. So back and forth and back and forth and in the end I landed on yes and for me the yes was because I don't actually have Little Miss, I don't have Ellis. I do really like Robert and after looking at more pictures and looking at the footage um, I'm now going in with Zoltar, by the way, so I'm going to use that to deepen up this crease bit. But after looking at more pictures and looking at more footage of the palette in different lights and different angles, I started to notice the subtleties in the tones in the palette. And I still stand by saying it's a 
muted rainbow like no it doesn't have red no it doesn't have orange according to robert's personal preference but i you can't help but compare it basically to a muted rainbow color story because of that sort of gradient nature um someone said that i was being reductive by calling it a a rainbow palette and i mean perhaps that is but i look at it in this gradient form i can't help but compare it to a rainbow but having said that especially now i have it there is more to it and i think I'd, maybe robert's managed to do that because he's some kind of makeup artist wizard and obviously i do have to try out more of the colors and this will feature in a future what do i think now but even fortune cookie in the way that applied on my skin tone normally a, a color like that would just wash away like i don't think i would necessarily see it but i see it it's light but it's there i can see that and this is me as someone who's not an expert blender. That's partly, I would imagine, due to, to Blend Bunny's formula and partly due to, I'm guessing, Robert's vision that he's had for the palette and taking into consideration how it's gonna look on, a, on different skin tones. Maybe I'm reading too much into that. I could be completely wrong. Maybe they just sat down, whacked a bunch of colours in a palette and go, Bob's your uncle. But somehow I doubt that. These shimmer shades. See, now I've said I want to play with the brown. Now I've put that brown in. I kind of want to put some green in there. I feel like some green would look nice on that. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to use my ref of 14 and I might just go in with the shade 13 and I'm just curious if I put that next to Zoltar on the edge how that's going to look it's a very deep green actually that's So that's worth noting, these, that deep column, this deep column is going to end up being pretty deep. So that's something to bear in mind, I think, when using that. Okay, now you can really see that green, that green has popped there. Should I do an all matte look? I never do an all matte look. I can't do an all matte look when I've got these shimmers to play with though, or maybe I do that in a, in a corner or something. I think now I want to put a green shimmer on. So I'm going to go in with Lucky right next to it, and I'm going to use my finger like I normally do. And that's Lucky. That's nice. I'm going to use a flat brush now just to tidy the shape using Lucky again and then out of curiosity I'm going to wet the brush yeah I think wetting it, I mean to be fair, your, the finger was pretty effective, wetting it's just kind of helped to make it pop a bit more. And then I'm curious, so that's lucky on its own, but I might top it with Vision, which is the light green. I think that's just made it accentuated it a little bit would 
I say it's it's not a multi-chrome it's got a, a, a very subtle shift to it there we go I think that's popped it a bit more yeah see I think that's quite nice it's the inner corner there I mean originally I was going to do a neutral look and then I was looking at that green row and I was very enticed by it on the other eye I'm going to use my 15 and I'm curious I'm going to put on affirmation which is the lightest purple shade and yeah see that's showing in fact I've just had an idea right I'm gonna do like sort of blue and purple so almost a bit like I did for my Artitude look so I'm going smaller I've got my refer 13 so this is hydromancy now I should probably tap off the excess that's a lot just because I want to see what these super light shades look like on me and then I'll get darker as I go in I'm just going to flip between affirmation the light purple and hydromancy the light blue until I'm happy with those Gemini I love that there's a shade called Gemini in here being a Gemini myself so this is the slightly darker purple wiping off that pigment doing the same thing so this is Pisces now the blue it's a bit darker Like I don't know that my um, skill level is at that where I can do a look like this justice but I was just curious basically to see what those super light shades would look like on me and I thought this would be a nice way to see yeah I'm definitely not skilled enough for this but one day, one day, I kind of had in my head what I wanted, like I wanted the, I'm kind of getting there, I think it might just take a bit of time, I'm trying to demo that gradient, but to be fair, I think the formula itself is helping me, I think that's done it, I think so, we're going to go in with the deepest blue now and that's called horoscope and that's going to go in the outer V I might use a pencil brush for this actually and then I can go back to the 13 for a bit of blending there's a lot of depth in this palette I've just dipped into the deepest purple there but I feel like this is almost going to get covered up by a shimmer it's not the most polished of gradients but I just I kind of wanted to see how each of the shades blended into each other it looks better in person it looks horrible on the camera I just wanted to kind of experiment really to demonstrate that someone with a skill level higher than mine might be able to achieve um, using this palette I see sometimes these beautiful and wild and wonderful gradients that people are able to do on their eyes and I'm very very jealous and it's probably a credit to the formula um, that I've even been able to achieve this to be perfectly honest um, but I think you can distinctly see each shade credit to the formula um, making me appear more proficient than I am at blending they're called blend bunny for a reason guys <laughs> time to put oracle on my eye 
but I might also put Psychic in there. Um, oh, this is exciting. Now, if you watched my last video and if you see any of my comments um, related to this palette on the socials, you will know that I have been most excited about getting my grubby little mitts on the shade Oracle. And I think it deserves being shown to the camera because, I mean, it's glowing. It's not even focused and you can just, it's, it's like it's glowing. Come on, camera. Okay, there we go. So that's Oracle, and even when it was blurry, you could just see that Oracle gives off this unbelievable glow. So that's why I'm excited to put this on my eyelids, and now struggle to focus on the palette. Here we go, back to me, yep, there we go. I'm excited about this shade. As I said, is it reasonable to buy an entire palette for one shade? Probably not. But um, let's see if Oracle could be one of those shades. <sighs> I'm kind of nervous and excited because what if after all that I put it on my eyelid and I go, oh. See, this is sometimes why I don't like to zoom you in completely because you can't see my whole face and I feel like you need to see my whole face for this. Obviously I need to tidy this up, I've gone a bit, I've, I'm a bit overexcited and I've, I've gone all over the place with it. And I am going to go in with Psychic and put this next to it because I think that they're going to pair beautifully together, beautifully. So this is with a wet brush. I like to go in with a wet brush. One, two, sharpen, and two to see if that helps the intensity. But to be honest, I think I probably did get maximum impact with that swipe. Psychic is nice, but... No, but it is nice, but when you've just experienced Oracle, um, maybe if I'd done Psychic first, but I mean, that's still pretty. Just pack on a bit more. Okay, no, I take it back. Psychic is also rather nice. I'm going in with crystal for my inner corner here. Um, I did like a, I think it's crystal I want. Yeah, because number seven is too purple. I want, I want a contrast. I want it to be silver. So this is crystal. Going in the inner corner. Okay, so as per, I'm going to put some concealer under my eyes and then I'm going to come back and do my under eyes back shortly. So going back to the brown green side, I think, I think, let's see what Zoltar looks like underneath. I might put in a bit of poor, or maybe superstitious actually. I did say I might visit the top row browns. So maybe a bit of superstitious. Underneath there as well. I can't believe that right up until this point I resisted the urge to burst into Superstitious by Stevie Wonder. That's an absolute banger of a tune. It's very subtle, but I didn't want it to pop, and I was mainly just curious to use the shade and see what it looked like. Other side. I'll do horoscope and maybe blend it out with Pisces and or Hydromancy. Okay, 
and now I'm going in with eight ball. Gemini. Pisces. I'm not 100% satisfied with that top bit. I don't think I'm going to get it how I've got it envisaged in my mind. Um, so I'm going to stop playing with it because I don't want to go too far and overblend entirely. On the whole, I'm happy with that. I'm going to sort my brows out, make them look a bit more sisterly and eyeliner, mascara and then I'll be back. These are the eyes, finished. I don't know if I was a bit like Icarus here, if I flew too close to the sun with this eye when I was doing the eyeliner. Um, I think it kind of works, I think it works. And so this is like the green brown side and this is the purple blue side. And then in each, so I've used Scry, ooh, and Superstitious from the top row on this side. And on this side, I've used Crystal. So I think I've somehow managed to use at least one shade from every single row to create these two looks. And now I'm gonna zoom you out to demo the Gloss Balm, the Gloss Balm. I gave up trying to film in my lunch hour and um, to be honest the reason why I did wasn't going to film now is I should actually be on a train to London because I should be in the office tomorrow for work but I don't need to be in the office tomorrow anymore so I can film now instead. Let me zoom you in actually. I'm now going to show you the Divination lip balm. There we go divination so that's the component and I will show you the box I just think it's really nice packaging and I love the detailing as well this is good fortune and it's got a slight purple hue it's not going to focus but you can see the color um, so I'm gonna have a little rant um, let's see if I can multitask and rant while I apply a lip product um, so I ordered from Glisten because I am based in the UK and I didn't go on the website straight away not, not that I forgot but I was just kind of busy at six o'clock when it was released oh and you can't see me there we go you can see me now um, yeah so not that I forgot but come six o'clock despite wanting to free myself up to make this order I was busy I can't remember doing what probably eating to be fair because you know it's six o'clock and I like to eat around that time this is nice actually it's not green it's it's like a how would I describe that how would I describe that like you can see the faintest hint of green faintest but it's more of like a clear topper so probably about maybe 620 some somewhere in the region of 615 and 620 added divination the palette plus both glosses I think the other one's called betrayal I want to say it's called betrayal off the top of my head both glosses to my basket we went to check out and it was like, oh no, one of your items is out of stock. And I was like, no, don't do this to me. It was betrayal. And then it made me panic because I thought if that's already sold out, the palette and the other balm are going to sell out quickly too. So I completely halted what I was doing, placed my order and breathed a sigh of relief. Oh, that's nice, that is. Um, breathed a sigh of relief that I was able to get my order in for the palette and this gloss at the very least. And then, no sooner had I done that, 
then everything sold out and I breathed another sigh of relief and then Glisten were like hey guys we're doing a restock right now because I'm going to get more inventory on Monday so then everything went back up to being fully in stock including Betrayal and then there were loads of people who ordered after me who were able to get Betrayal quite frankly I feel betrayed now I'm not going to lie am I being overly dramatic? You possibly possibly um but the fact that this looks really nice is making me feel ever so slightly better and um if this is how this looks and this is green um i'm very intrigued to see what the purple will look like um how does that feel no stickiness you know sometimes you put on a balm and then you spend the entire day kind of going Meh. Then there's just this gunky horrible sensation there's none of that i'm going to wipe this off and i'm going to put on a red lippy because robert mentioned that this would look particularly stunning over a red lippy so i'm going to put that to the test so this is ruby woo and now let's see what this looks like over the top i don't know why i would say it's changed the color as such but I do like the glossy vibe it's given that red. That's nice. My first impressions. What do I think? Blend Bunny formula, as usual, five stars. Can't knock it. This is actually raised. It's holographic. And also the texture it's almost like a waxy you know sometimes you get that smooth shiny cardboard this is more sort of waxy i don't know how to explain it it just feels quite nice like even just stroking it now i quite like how that feels and i do like the detail of the packaging color story i don't have little miss or ellis to be able to compare it to and i will i'll ask deandra's permission and i'll see if she responds when it by the time I'm sort of editing this but she's done a really quick video where she shows all three palettes like just really quickly in quick succession because I know that a lot of people right off the bat are comparing it to Little Myths and to the Ellis collab and it's easy to see why you know they do have very very similar colors in there and it is a muted rainbow style palette and they've been released in very quick succession so it's very very easy to compare these three palettes what i will say is just based on what Taja said about her own palette uh, the little miss palette i know that she's focused it a lot to make sure it's going to work on a deeper skin tone and i can tell you that the shades have a certain vibrancy in them they are more saturated tones than the shades in this palette the ellis one i think is a bit harder to compare but i also feel that that leans towards the more saturated side um, and i just say this based on the numerous pictures i've seen of all three palettes robert's palette definitely leans more it's more muted but don't let the muted tones fool you into thinking that muted means less pigment. It doesn't. It does not at all. And I did, so one of the reasons why I went back and forth is when I'd clocked that this was more muted, I thought to myself, I don't actually know if I like the fact it's more muted. And I think I was th connotating it in my mind, more muted, less pigment. Um, and now I have it in my hands, that's far from the truth. There's a lot of depth in here. I was surprised, especially because I didn't swatch these beforehand. So this this deep row, it, it does run deep. So if you're of a deeper skin tone and you're wondering to yourself, I wonder how that palette is going to work on me. I wonder if it's got the depth to work on me. It 100% does. And then when it comes to the sort of pastel column the pastel colors are true they to me i don't feel as though they appeared ashy on my skin 
they appeared as pastel shades on my deep complexion. Do you need this if you have Ellis and Little Miss? That's going to be really subjective. I think if you notice the subtleties in tones and you appreciate those subtleties in tones, I think this would probably enhance your collection. If you're one who's just, if you literally only see the world in red, yellow, green, blue, orange, then perhaps adding this, it's probably not gonna be worth it. Because I hesitated even buying the Little Miss and I, I may go back and get it eventually, but I hesitated with that only because I have a number of rainbow palettes and in the back of my mind I was thinking any looks that you could create using Targe's palette you probably have the palettes to do it already in your other rainbow palettes. The thing I'm finding though is that my rainbow palettes are some of my older palettes so I went back to my Carnival Tahiti recently and I wasn't overly impressed with the formula. Maybe that's just because it's an older palette um, as in, I, I, I got it recently, but it's an older palette, and so the formula is probably a bit older, whereas this is a palette that's come out literally in the last week. So it's got a newer formula, a formula that's been worked on, improved, enhanced. So it makes, it feels like I'm justifying why I've spent yet more money on another palette, but these are the things that you need to think about if you are going to be investing in palettes they're not getting any cheaper <laughs> so you do have to make considered purchases and I'm trying to sort of be as objective as I can here being a Robert fan and being someone who is now quite a big fan of Blend Bunny like I do enjoy their formula and I think for me longing as a palette is up there and to be honest I think once I use this more this, I think, could jump up quite high in the ranks because you've got these bottom two rows. So but this is a palette for neutral lovers wanting to explore colour. Like, you've seen these vibrant looks, you've been really interested, you've wanted to dip your toe in, but you see these rainbow palettes and it, quite frankly, scares the shit out of you. So you've never bothered. I think this is nice because you've got your comfortable bottom two rows. So if you open this palette and you get a bit scared and you think, oh, I don't know, you can stick to these two rows. Or you can do what I've done here, where I've gone very, very neutral, and then I went a bit wild with some green on there. And you could do that again with some blue or with some purple. And I think you could kind of use this and start branching out to include more colours. That I think is a good, that's a good target area, target, target area? Target audience, that's the word I'm looking for. I think those people would be a good target audience for a palette like this. If you've got Surge and you've got Primal and you've got Blends and you've got Ellis and you've got Taj, Maybe you're buying this anyway because, you know, it's, you, you find they're like Pokemon and you've got to catch them all. So maybe you're thinking, well, I need it. I've got all the others I'm going to. But you could see it from the point of view is, well, no, I've got all the others. Why am I now going to buy this too? I can understand why you'd want to pass on it. I can understand why you'd want to go for it. I think it's one of those things where, you know, watch the reviews, see the looks people are creating, decide for yourself. Is this worth investing in? Is it worth investing in because you just love Blend Bunny? Because you just love Robert? Because you just love these tones? When I watched back the, f the video that I did my shop or drop and I did say I was going to buy it, I was editing it and I could see that I was... I don't think it was intentional but because there was this this flicker of disappointment that crossed my face and I when I was editing the footage I kind of burst out laughing to myself 
and I was like why are you hiding your disappointment like I'm not someone who hides my disappointment if I think something is rubbish I'm going to tell you I think it's rubbish and my initial disappointment definitely stemmed from the fact that um, on looking at it at first it's another rainbow palette it is you can't get away from that muted or not the way it's laid out it's another rainbow palette and I think that's what made me a bit deflated and funnily enough it's the rose that threw me off initially that I think have kind of brought me back around and it's funny because it's it's green blue purple I, those are the colors I love to put on my eyes but I was still disappointed and that's coming from me who loves the colors in these palette and I think that's probably why I thought to myself I was I was disappointed because I was like I can't buy another <laughs> blue purple green palette um, and that's probably why the other rows are the ones that have kind of sold it to me and Oracle I'm not going to shut up about Oracle but yeah I'm going to stop there but I felt like I I wanted to express that yes I was disappointed because I don't know if for some not that I was being dishonest I think I don't know if I was subconsciously thinking oh Robert might see this <laughs> I'm like as if Robert's gonna be tuning into my YouTube channel I'm just like imagining him sitting there with his dogs and popcorn like watching me do my YouTube video um, and I don't know if I subconsciously thought I can't show how disappointed I am in case Robert sees this and I think in the end the thing that sold it to me is I love the blend bunny formula in the palettes I already have and I don't have any of the rainbow palettes that blend bunny have done and to me I think it was justified getting it one because I actually don't have a palette in that category from blend bunny and two as I mentioned the formula in a lot of the rainbow palettes I do have is probably quite outdated at the moment and it could do with a zhuzh because it's Robert I probably have gone out of my way to justify this purchase but I think we should probably be considered in every palette that we buy because they're not cheap they are not cheap I hope you found this video useful I, I if you've been sitting on the fence if you're thinking to your if you're wondering which way to go like I don't know if me sort of breaking it down and talking through the differences as I see them between the previous collabs and this one. I don't know if that's helped. Hopefully it has. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch and hopefully I'll see you again in a video in a not too distant future. Take care. Bye.